Hello everybody. Today I'm going to provide a review of these handlebars that you've probably noticed in some of my previous videos that can give you an idea that I've had a decent amount of time in order to have a, I feel like a good experience with. So these are called the Velo Orange Crazy Bars and they're they make them in aluminum and chromoly and the chromoly ones are the ones that they rate for being suitable for um mountain biking off-road kind of setups. So the <clears throat> the handlebar runs all the way through to here and through and through and up and of course back out the other side. Um, the I forget the exact dimensions. Velo Orange lists is on their website but the uh, diameter of the bar here is less than what it is on the horns. This is um, like 22 millimeters or something. The s sort of standard mountain bike um, handlebar diameter. and <clears throat> But it also means that you may have to uh, do things like like with this, there's a shim that Velo Orange provides for um, making stems that are made for road bikes match with mountain bikes and that's what I actually had to do maybe you can see it in there yeah those little ridges right there let's get that zoom on the focus on I mean there we go so that's the shims that I had to buy separate because all my stems are of the um, road bike variety and as much fun as it is to buy additional new parts I really wasn't inclined to that so I've had these for a year, ish, eh, getting close, and my opinion of them is that overall I'd say they're good, that they I've enjoyed them, um, that the main thing that I would say as a suggestion for an improvement would actually be, ah, one second, lock this guy in a little bit better, there we go. The main thing I'd say for an improvement would be that you may notice that the uh, the bullhorn right here, let's lower this off the stand because it might make this actually a little bit more clear. I can always throw it back up when I need. So if I'm on this bullhorn, if I'm sitting normally, my wrist position ends up being pretty tilted far forward. Not really optimal, not especially for any kind of long-term comfort. Um, even when you're riding and sort of trying to do a little bit more of an aero position. Uh, but this angle would be very nice, but the amount of room for gripping on it is actually way too little. In fact, you can't... You barely get three fingers on, and you don't get your thumb and what and the rest on. So, in my opinion, this end should come out to here. Like that should just be standard how this is built, because as is, I use these bullhorns very infrequently, because they the angle that is most com that the area that's most comfortable to blade on as far as having a grip goes is uncomfortable wrist angle wise and the area that is best for wrist angle is bad for grip but and and there's a certain challenge of if you if you're trying to angle this so that it sort of fits a little bit better for wrist angle so instead of being here you're a little bit more you know so that these were like this relative to your wrist instead of here they're relatively like this but if you do that then the angle that the hand your handlebar grips are going to be at is going to be low and it becomes really hard to get the uh, angle of your your handlebar grips right rotating wise in order to have everything still be comfortable I kept trying it over time last year and it just never quite worked out um, and since then, the handlebar works well enough that I, you know, I'm not inclined to buy a new one just to, uh, 
optimize that one little piece. Um, if I discover from Velo Orange that they make made an upgraded one where they fix this little bullhorn kind of issue, I would gladly give that a try because I think that would be the fix for what I was hoping for what this would do. But beyond that, I'd say these are good bars. Um, it's just that if you're really hoping for that arrow position and you're not sort of really tight cockpit wise and it's not really just on top of you that this is probably going to feel a little rough angle wise and it's not going to be as useful as you'd hope at least in my experience and personally for me because I've got um, I've got items that I put up here on my air on my flats I've actually not even used this open space as much because I don't really have a good place for putting like my bell when I've got this kind of stuff up and during my tour last summer I'm going to do a video on this soon you may notice there's a blank space that I've left in this um, handlebar tape this is where I mount arrow bars because it on long rides it's not so much about being really aerodynamic although it's nice when it works out that way but it's about just being able to lay down now if I've got arrow bars on here the handle, the, the pad rests over this and becomes even more difficult in order to get space here. But, I mean, and, and as it comes, this handlebar is actually wider than what I've got right now. And this is a pretty wide handlebar. Like, I'm trying to think of if I've experienced many that are as wide or wider that come out of the box. But, um... I actually cut a centimeter off on each side and was only limited by, because it just felt too wide and too sort of ungainly for me, and I was only limited by how much I cut it off by where my shifting lever and brake levers had to install. So, but, and, and that actually is something that Velo Orange on their information, like on the website says, yeah, you can cut off pieces of the end. And I probably could actually even cut them off more if I just was willing to have my my grip here a little bit shorter because it's like, okay, I've got this much space between my hand and the shift lever. So if I cut off that amount of extra space on the cork, then I could move this correspondingly in and just cut off the extra handlebar end in order to sort of make everything flush and work. But... Overall, I would say, like, if you if you think you're going to really like the bullhorns, go for it. If you see a similar handlebar model from Velo Orange, where they uh, where they don't have the bullhorns, but the rest of the shape is about the same, I'd say eh, you're probably better off going with that. Oh, and for part of the logic for why I got this, I got this because I've been interested in having multiple hand positions for trying to deal with like shoulder and hand kind of pain stuff and I've been I've liked the look of the Jones bars but unfortunately because the loop makes it so that I couldn't have my handlebar installation anymore and I'm so just used to that and I like I dig how that system works for me I uh, haven't really wanted to switch over to a Jones bar because then I'd lose the handlebar bag because it's not right on top of the stem unless I just forced it into the loop somehow which it doesn't look like the space would work for that so this is my attempt to uh, sort of get a system that would work well for that and you know didn't quite but this is how we learn and how we get better so uh, thanks hope that's helpful for folks and uh, make sure to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Later.